can Prussia reform the Holy Roman Empire? In today's Victoria of 3 video, we're going to find out. I'm going to start by building tall workshops, logging camps, and coal mines. The reason I want to do that is to make sure that my construction sectors have enough materials. So I need iron, wood, fabric, and tools to make sure that my construction sectors have enough. So I'm going to build them. I'm also going to build livestock ranches because they'll produce us some fabrics, as you can see over here, and also maybe some steel mills because I think at this level, yes, it requires steel instead of iron. So we're going to build some steel mills. Okay, to form the Holy Roman Empire, which is actually just called Central Europe, we need to control all of these lands. If you have a look here, um, so Northern Italy, all of like German land and the Netherlands and Belgium, which is doable. But first, obviously, we need to get Germany. Also, we need to research nationalism. So that's what I've started off with. We're researching nationalism to get our journal, journal entries going. The first law I'd like to change is dedicated police force because that removes the plus 10% junkers political strength, which is just the landowners. And it also means we can get some more investment into our police. I've just finished upping my education institution to level three to get plus 30% education access and thir plus 37% assimilation. Both of those will give us huge amounts of help. Seeing as we're back in the positive money, um, I'm going to keep upping my construction sectors just so that we're still, we, we, we're losing money. I want to lose money. I, I don't care about money. Money is not my problem right now. Okay, seeing as Pomerania has quite a high population and has even got migration coming towards it, I thought I might as well develop the industry a little bit. It will take a while, but I am trying to increase my industrial strength right now. And I thought maybe some furniture and tooling workshops will get us some more GDP in the area. And we now have dedicated police force. And, and we even have a movement to enact wealth, I mean, landed voting. I would like wealth voting eventually, but landed voting will be very, very useful at getting away from autocracy. Oh, this is very interesting. I can get the industrialists in um, instead of the junkers. This will be very nice. Also, I didn't realize that I'm bolstering the, the church. I don't want to be doing that. I want to be bolstering the industrialists, if anything. Yeah, look, we can get contested government. Go for that. And we now have landed voting. Oh, wow, look at that. Prussia's got a new flag, and we are a constitutional monarchy. Right, it's time to potentially get wealth voting. That would be a nice step in the right direction. Or get trade. Oh, both would be useful. I would like to get off tenant farming and go to commercialized agriculture, but I need to research mutual funds first. Uh, I could, I could go to no migration controls. That would be very, very helpful. Yeah, I'm going to switch to no migration controls. Get that extra population coming into the country. I've just unlocked canned meat and canned fish. Both, I'm pretty sure. Oh wait, no, just the canned meat will get me more money, more production value. So we are definitely going to be getting this. We'll use up a little bit of meat, but that will give us more supply. Oh no. Okay, we've we we've almost lost no migration controls. But I would like to I would like to get canned meat. Oh, we've also now just done German national identity. Uh, uh, uh. German national identity was successful. Let's have a look. Mome uh, momentous times ahead of us. Right. So we've now got the north. German Confederation. Okay, so that we can get this journal entry going, I would like to take Schleswig Holstein, uh, which is this country over here, this state over here. So, if we go to the state of Schleswig, we can con uh, conquer the state. This will cause Denmark to side with them. Uh, it will also cause Hamburg to side with them. However, this seems like a doable amount of issue, like a doable problem. Okay, the wars have just started between me and Denmark and what was it called? Austria, that's it. And I have three war goals on them. I have liberate Holstein, I have conquer this place here, and I've also got German leadership. 
So if I can get all three, I'll be set for the rest of the game. I have Sweden as an ally, so I'm going to help them out up here. Hopefully, we're able to push through. So we are pushing in in Denmark, and it's going really well, actually. Um, I think me and Sweden are doing quite a good job. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I wasn't looking over here. They have 200 things over here, and I'm still winning. Uh, have they not reached... What's going on? How am I... How... What? They've got loads of loads of soldiers. And I've got barely any in comparison. Uh, and I'm winning. I'm winning on both sides. What is going on? Holstein has just been liberated. And you know what that just gave us? Uh, the Holstein-Holstein thing. Wait, did Denmark just capitulate? Oh, they did. They did. They just capitulated. So we now have this and Holstein owns themselves. So, obviously, we want to increase relations immediately with them. What else do we need to go? There must be no German unification candidate besides Prussia, which we're actually about to fix with German leadership. I'm pretty sure... Yeah. Yeah, this is actually... What? There you go. They're finally cracked. Oh, let's get... Uh, yeah, Hanover, Hanover. That's, that's good. Defensive pack with Hanover. Yes, 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 yes. We need to also invite them to the Customs Union. Ah, and they're in the customs union. So they're finally cracked, is what I was saying. Their war support is now minus 25. We'll wait for that to get to... Actually, oh, I can just propose peace deal now. We'll just peace out. Propose that. There you go. There you go. German unification is done. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we now have Bavaria. And the statesman responsible are... Uh, Prussia... Influence and prestige, yeah, 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 yeah. And here we'll get uh, technology or throughput, throughput. Okay, okay. I'm now also gonna get cultural exclusion over what we got, national supremacy. Yeah, that would be really good. We can stop hating on every other culture and finally become a more united Germany. If I'm honest, I didn't even read what this revolution was about, but it turns out it's nothing to do with cultural exclusion. They want me to enact homesteading, and I'd love to enact homesteading. So, seeing as there's a huge amount of support, after either we can't do any more of this, or um, once we get it, I will be enacting homesteading. Oh, both of them remove success chunk. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to it. I'm actually gonna come back to, I'm gonna come back to that, and I'm gonna get homesteading. Because there's way more support for it. And yeah. Oh, I have the option to invite Sweden into my customs union. And of course. Oh, I can't do it. I I owe them an obligation. Okay. When we don't owe them an obligation anymore, we will 100% be inviting them. Also, trade agreement with Ottomans. Yes. I do have another revolution. But this time there's a higher success chance. So I'm not too worried about it. You know what? I didn't think it was going to come to this, but we might have a revolution because this just didn't advance instead of a moving on to the next stage or phase. And now I'm, I'm going to have a civil war. It's better than the other civil war that we could have potentially had because that was like half of Germany. And this is, uh, I don't know. Is this worse? I'm, I'm not sure what well, GDP wise slightly it's a slightly bad position, but really, it's just, you know, we'll be, we should be fine. It's, yeah, there you go. Look, we've got a revolution. Okay, so all we need to do is mobilize. The war has started, and it seems so far that everything can just go smoothly. Let me just check that all my soldiers are on attacking, because before we had them on defense. We're just going to be able to win this war pretty quick. We are losing a whole load of money. But that's just because we're still building at the same rate as we would be, um, just without all the extra goods and GDP. And we now have homesteading, the whole reason we went to war in the first place, and we've got it. Right, the war is going very well. Um, I don't even know... Yeah, yeah, look, they're, they're, there's no way they're winning. Oh, we've got some research to pick. I would like to get pan-nationalism, but it's going to take nine years to complete. So we need to finish all the ones beforehand before we get that. There you go, we've been able to annex them and perfect timing. We have enact cultural exclusion. Oh, they're, they're about to radicalize. Oh, oh. 
Why can't I attempt it? Ah, uh, because we did it. Yeah, okay, we can't do that just yet. However, we sh Oh, my economy is awful at the moment. Right, I'm going to fix my production methods and then we'll move on to getting cultural exclusion. Finally, we have cultural exclusion. Sounds awful, but it's better than national supremacy. So, with that, I, w oh, I was going to say we get wealth voting, but we can't get wealth voting. We can try and get something, something else. Maybe parliamentary or presidential republic, maybe? But then we might not be able to do anything proper fun then. I want to get Lasses Fair or get Colonial Exploitation. Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm going to leave my laws for now or get Secret Police. Yeah, let's get Secret Police. I'm going to get Secret Police and that's it. Then, then I'm going to leave it for a while. Okay, I built a couple steel mills and now we can get the North German steel thing and get some extra construction bonus. I know up there it doesn't look like we've got a load of debt, but we have 2.83 million pounds in debt. And obviously I don't want to have 2.8 million. Oh, there you go. I don't want to have any debt at all. So seeing as we're now earning money, while we're earning money, I'm going to get rid of my debt. And then once we start adding to our reserves, I'm going to build more construction sectors and boost the economy even more. Now that we're in the positives, I'm going to build some more construction sectors. Yes, we're only a little bit... Oh dear, okay. We have money in the investment pool though, so this this is fine. This is fine. Okay, the GDP is now at £40 million, which if we just have a look, we're fifth in the world. Oh, yeah, we're still fifth in the world. Fifth in the world to Russia, Great Britain... Great Jing and India. So that's not too bad. We can work with that. Oh my goodness, I'm stupid. I need to add more universities. No wonder things seem to be going so. We're on weekly, we've only got weekly innovation of 83 and our maximum's 129. So let's build some universities and get that up. And there is secret police. I would now like to get colonial exploitation, but I think. To get that, I, I need the industrialists in, in the party. Yes, there you go. We can get the industrialists, we can get the intelligentsia and the armed forces. This is kind of a, a very strong trio. Yeah, 40% success chance for colonial exploitation. That's really good. Oh, we just went down slightly, but that's still pretty good. There you go. We have colonial exploitation. I will 100% be using this in well, Africa. Um, Let's start establishing a colony. Uh, make sure we've got declared interest. Yeah, we've got declared interest. And yeah, let's start getting some colonies going. Okay, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting the best economic system in the game. Let's go. Let's build up our industry right now. All right, we have a few problems. As we just enacted, as we just enacted colonial exploitation, we are having a revolution. To restore no colonial affairs and this is going to take up quite a chunk of my population and gdp look, look, look this this area here why does it always pop up like that i just want to want to show you the area this is, yeah that works oh no it doesn't okay so that's just the area that will be taken maybe we can get some allies but i'm not going to restore no colonial affairs the only way i can get it down is by getting rid of the revolution which is quite difficult we'll just we could decrease the radicalization with increasing our secret police actually i might do that i might do that i'm gonna i'm gonna increase um home affairs as much as possible to reduce um their progression and their radicalization right okay we now have no colonial affairs i accidentally clicked the button and didn't read it because it just said it would give um, political power to who was it the industrialists and yeah we're starting to get problems oh never mind i was about to say we're starting to have problems with our convoys so i'm just going to increase the number of ports we've got just to make sure that we have enough convoys because i'm trying to export and um, more and more of our goods so the more ports i have the better <laughs> and there you go this is whatever can someone tell me how to pronounce this properly? Actually, let me look it up. Let me look it up. Laissez-faire. <laughs> Laissez-faire, I think. Laissez-faire? 
Uh, yeah, less a fair. We're going with that. We're going with that. So now we have another company that we're getting. Look, these two companies, my paper and my steel companies, have exactly what I need. The plus 10 bureaucracy and the plus 5% stake constructions. Okay, even though it's not that good, the Forestry Syndicate of North, North Germany Federation, this company right here, it's the only one that's actually got decent production. The, okay, the mineral... The thing is, we're not really using fertilizers that much. So I'm thinking of this one more to get that extra infrastructure. I'm going to establish this and yeah. We're also now having problems with dyes. If you have a look over here, we're minus 227 dye. Would like to import, or could import it, I mean. But I would like to use the, the one bit of Africa that I was able to get before I was told that I'm not allowed to colonize anymore. So these dye plantations, I'm building, I think I'm building a port. Yeah, I'm building a little port that trade can start here. Then we're gonna get some dye, maybe some tea, sugar. Yeah, I might as well just get one of each. Oh, and I think it's time to get free trade. Free trade is gonna give us plus 50% trade route volume, which will be lovely. And also reduce the amount of bureaucracy it costs for those trade routes, because at the moment, I'm spending 720 bureaucracy for my 48 trade routes, which is a lot. And if we half that, I think it's, yeah, yeah. If we minus 50% from that, that will boost our amount of bureaucracy. And then we can invest, invest more in our institutions. So I've just been able to research all of the previous layer of technology within the social tree. And now I want to get Pan nationalism, obviously after rotary valve engines. And with that, um, let's get that one. With that, we'll be able to get German unification because we need to be able to have researched pan nationalism, which should be able to unify the rest of Germany. Currently, our cost for coal is extremely high. So, after we've researched pan nationalism, I've decided to go for dynamite. And the reason I want dynamite instead of the nitroglycerin is so that we don't get that mortality rate. You see there? Plus 10% mortality for engineers, plus 30 for laborers, and plus 20%. And you see that will decrease our population, and that's not what I want. Whereas dynamite, on the other hand, we don't get any of those negatives. It will decrease the price of coal because we're going to be producing a whole lot more. And it will also give us to plot, um, demand for explosives which would be nice because that's another industry we can start properly investing in and there we go we have free trade this has already given us loads of bureaucracy what's happened to our th authority maybe yeah maybe i need to stop bolstering the industrialists there you go we now have pan nationalism what else do we need to do uh, we need to now we need to now form germany i think it's time to get wealth voting probably one of the better laws well than that we can pick for this part i don't really want to get oligarchy sounds like a waste of time but well voting very good all right as we need to fix our uh, economy still yeah, which is going okay it, it has improved but we still need to fix it i am going to launch a unification play right now on the enemy side we've got france i think let me just pause the game i think we can take on france they have more flotillas, but that's pretty obvious. They're the French. You know, they're the French. We can get, if, if we have a look over here, we can definitely get Russia on our side. I don't know what for, but we can get Russia on the side. They can get Spain, but Spain's pretty rubbish anyway. Russia with their 300 soldiers will be very, very good for us. So I'm going to launch that unification play and hope that we can get this. Oh, I forgot, and I got an alliance with Russia, so we're calling them, them in as an ally, ally. And then we'll also... Oh, let's see. Can we get... Okay, so we're going to be unifying with uh, this this bit here. And can we get any other war goals? Like, can I get a transfer of a subject? Philippines, don't really want it. That means we have to take out Spain. Anyway, let's see. Who else can I potentially get on my side? I can not get anyone else. They've got Belgium. Oh, come on. Okay, hopefully the Russians can hold the Belgian front while I focus on the French. There you go, the war has started. Right, the attack along the Rhineland is what I'm going to call it. Is yeah, 
good. And the attack... Okay. Okay, we're, we're defending against the French in Belgium. But the attack probably won't go too well. Whereas over here, it'll be good. And that's that's perfect. Because this is our war goal. Once we get the war goal, their war, their war support will also decrease. Russia has been naval invaded. However, this shouldn't be a problem. Because in France, they've redirected all of their divisions to Russia. So now we are pushing straight, oh, 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 straight through into France. This war's pretty tight, actually. The, the border with Belgium isn't going well. And the border with France and the naval invasion in Russia is taking a while to get rid of. Oh, dear. No, 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 no. This is not good. We've just lost our only ally. Maybe I put everything on defense, because at the moment, I'm on zero war support. France on zero war support. Obviously, Belgium, they want to capitulate. So if I can get rid of that front, then my life might be a little bit easier. Finally, we have wealth voting. Not saying that this is, you know, something that we need for the war. It just would be nice. We're going to have the industrialists in power, and we can start enacting some laws like commercialized agriculture, which will be nice. We need to actually get mutual funds after... Eh, forget about human rights. <laughs> that sounds so awful. <laughs> I mean... I mean, like, we don't need compulsory primary schools right now. We need that commercialized agriculture. Let's get that first. Okay, Belgium are the closest to capitulating. And everyone else is on zero war support right now. So I'm really hoping that Spain capitulates. So that I don't have to give away the one African state. No, no, I'm only joking. I need, I need Belgium to capitulate so that... Yes, 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 yes. So that all my divisions can be on there. They've just reduced their number of divisions. I'm... Keep saying divisions. It's not hard to find for soldiers, whatever these called armies. Yes, I need them on here, where they're required. Oh, 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 Spain has capitulated. So now it's just me and France. You know, even though it's really annoying, and it's just this is just difficult. They've got they've got a huge army, and I'm population wise. I think like manpower wise. I mean. Yeah, I'm pretty low. You see that blue bar there? They're, they're all pretty low. Yeah. I don't know what theirs... Yeah, theirs are looking topped up compared to mine. Yeah, okay. Some of that, that... That one's not too good, but still. A white piece at this point. We're both just stuck on zero war support. Because for some reason, this doesn't count as me having the war goal. Even though, um, to me, that looks like I clearly have the war goal. So it won't go below zero until I have the war goal. So, I'm going to accept except that white piece. So we got absolutely nothing apart from we were able to unify with the rest of our country, which is good, but we just didn't get this. Wait, I need to reduce my taxes. I upped them so high so we wouldn't go completely bankrupt. Uh, yeah, I need to reduce them eventually when we, when we recover, when we recover. With my new research of dynamite, I'm gonna be switching over to dynamite as it doesn't give, like I said before, it doesn't give the mortality rate and it improves, increases my production a whole load. Also, it does give us access. Oh my god, I've got to fix this because it's unifying. Where are we? Explosives. We can now go up to vacuum evaporation as well. It will increase the number that we create. Okay, we're currently progressing to enact compulsory primary schools. And there you go, we've now got compulsory primary schools. And with that, our literacy rate should boom. At the moment, our economy isn't doing too well. Our money situation also isn't too great. We are on full taxation and with these consumption taxes. So I'm not, uh, I'm not liking it at the moment. And with that extra bureaucracy that we just gained, I don't know where from, but now we're going to get level five education and maybe even level five law enforcement. Right, what do our industrialists want? They want to see private schools offer no migration controls. Yes, 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 yes. We want no migration controls anyway. So that'd be nice. So we've got four months until we can get Munich, Nuremberg, Stuttgart, all these places actually integrated into Germany. And we can start taxing them uh, once we get the taxes. That will be lovely. I have reduced our taxes a little bit. I just would like to get into the positives. How much have we got in assets? Okay, we're 7 million in debt. So at this rate, we'll be out of debt pretty soon. So I will keep this going and then I'll take it back down to medium taxation. So in many of my states, well, when I say many, I've got like five or six of them. 
I'm building power plants. Some of them are going to take some time, but some of them have already built. So in those places, I'm going to switch my logging camps to electric sawmills. This will produce electricity and give us more wood. It's like a win-win situation, right? It also will increase our overall GDP eventually. So for now, all I really want to be doing is urbanizing the, well, the entirety of Germany. It's, it is working, as you can see up here. We're on now 94 million. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. Oh my goodness. The constant revolutions today. But we've got no migration controls. Right, let's have a look at what else we can improve on. Next thing to do is increase the amount of fertilizers we use in our wheat and rye farms. That will decrease the number of laborers, but increase the number of farmers, which are higher quality employees. Also, it will mean that my fertilizer industry booms a whole lot more. I would like my, yeah, my fertilizer plant, my fertilizer plants are making a whole lot money, more money. And then I can make more fertilizer plants to get that GDP even higher. All right, I've had enough fun with building up my industry. We're now at a decent size and making quite a lot of money that I want to retry this German unification. Um, so if we go here, no, wrong one. Go here and we do launch unification play. They're going to be able to get the US on their side, Spain on their side. We'll be able to get Sweden. Mm, and oh, I might be able to sway, I might be able to sway Great Britain and Russia. Um, I'm Yeah, I'm going to give it a go. So I'm going to be able to sway quite a lot of countries. First, I want to get Great Britain. Oh, transfer states. That's not very good. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is actually really good because even though this has been a bit profitable for the die that we're getting, my I didn't actually show you, but look, my it, my market is so much larger than well the French market and the, like that sort of stuff. So I can now have access to rubber and stuff from Brazil, which I'm looking forward to. Whereas and I, I won't really need the die because I can get that from the, just my market. So I don't need that anymore. So I can I can now um, sway Great Britain with giving them this. Oh, that's nice. We can just sway Russia with an obligation. I'll do that. And then who else can we possibly sway? Um, no one. Okay, that's, that's still pretty good, though. Yeah, America and... Okay, this is a big war. This is big... There you go, war has started. So having a look at the border, I forgot to tell you I'm at war. Having a look at the border with the French, doesn't seem like there's that many soldiers here. Like the French army uh, has presence, but I assume most of them probably gone. Um... Wait, what? Oh, where have they gone? Oh, wow, look at this war. It's going really well, actually. I didn't expect it to go this well. I don't know why. They're saying we have less war support, probably because I'm taking more casualties. Um, let's have a look. Am I taking more casualties? No, I'm taking less. Oh, wait, I, I just realized the casualties are right here. Um, no, I've got no idea why I've got less war support. And the English, Great Britain, they're, they're not happy with America. They left them a while back, and the UK really still could take them back if they wanted to. And there you go, there's Spain capitulated. And there you go, that's the US. So now it's just us versus France. And none of my allies have capitulated, by the way. So let's have a look. How many soldiers do we have? I have 200, they have 300, they have 300. So that's 1,600 just by them. And they've only got 400. There you go, the French are now in the minus numbers. They are minus eight war support and I'm zero. Yes, yes, look at how much land we've taken. Right, so the war goal, by the way, is the French Low Countries and this. By the way, the reason I picked that is because if we have a look at Central Europe, what we need for it. Um, why is it not showing? Um, there you go. See, look, we need that state anyway. So I don't want to go back to war with them. I just want to be done with the French now. Look at how close they are to capitulating. Minus 88. Ah, there you go. I have what I need. This does look a bit goofy, but when we finally, when, when we get Belgium and Netherlands, which is next, by the way, um, then that won't look too bad. Right, what we've got to do now is form Germany. We are now going to be Germany forever. And oh, by the way, I'm, I'm doing wage subsidies because people keep asking for it. Anyway, form Germany. All hail the king. No, no, no. 
This was a victory for the German people. I don't care about the king. I just want loyalists. Please and thank you. I need more loyalists. Uh, where have we got construction sectors already? Yes, I'm going to build up... Where's this? Saxony's um, construction sectors. So probably add an extra 10. Eh, you know what? We, let's just go all the way. Get this maxed out. I want to have my production... Construction, I mean, as high as possible. Oh, this is an opportunity. We can get Sweden to become my protectorate if we help them against the Norway not being a protectorate. So, yes, I will help them. Um, I don't even need a huge army to help them out either. So, Luxembourg. Let's have a look at Luxembourg. If I can return... If I ask Luxembourg to return Luxembourg, the state of Luxembourg, um, we have a couple things right here. Um... The en on the enemy side, they immediately get Nether the Netherlands, because I think they're like a, a protectorate. That means that we can then also put war goals on the Netherlands. We'll probably end up going to war with Great Britain, and yeah, why not just give it a go. Right, and then I can make the Netherlands a protectorate. So if I do this, it will increase my infamy like a whole load, or I can conquer states, but conquering states... Getting them as a protectorate and then reducing their autonomy might be easier than just... Also, it would cost a whole lot less infamy um, to just protectorate them and then slowly do it. Because I want to take all of them, right? I don't want to have to come back in like five years and then keep all the rest of them and end up, you know. I want to get all of it eventually. I've got to, I've got to make protectorate. Britain has already decided to be on the side of the Netherlands. So that's not going to be fun. So the war has just started and it doesn't seem like well, obviously Luxembourg hasn't got a whole load of support. Yeah, the poor Lu poor Luxembourg. And the Netherlands might even get pushed into right at the beginning because of their lack of, like, whatever, their lack of British soldiers here. I can see the British army's going to get here eventually. Wait, what? The British just capitulated. Okay. Okay, okay, this... Okay, we've won. We've, we've, we've actually won. Okay, perfect. Uh, they, they stand absolutely zero chance of holding on yep they're gone they're gone we've won cool right we now have the netherlands and luxembourg that's good oh yes conveyor belts conveyor belts conveyor belts this is beautiful right now we have electricity in some of these states so let's switch this to, uh, to assembly lines oh, we need oil we need oil okay that might mean that over here in hanover we have a we have oil rigs that's good okay let's switch that to tanker carts and yeah, let's start building. Let's start building up. Finally, the Netherlands are my protectorate. So now we have to keep on going. We have to we have to eventually um, reduce their autonomy. I think it's time to get women in the workplace for that extra workforce plus ten percent workforce ratio. That would be quite nice. Uh, women's suffrage would be um, a little bit better, but. But now we'll just get women in the workforce. I would like to start taking Switzerland, but I'm going to wait for my infamy to reduce a little bit so they don't get cut down to size by like Austria or something. I've got to stop sitting around and just twiddling my thumbs. Um, I'm going to war with Switzerland. Whether or not that means world war, they'll have to decide. Right, Switzerland. Let's make sure that we get both parts of Switzerland. Also, we've almo already almost got women in the workplace and we're at war with Switzerland. It shouldn't actually take too long. That'd be nice. And then we'll have borders with Italy uh, and a really big border with Austria-Hungary. There you go. Women in the workplace has been... We've got it. Well, that wasn't very difficult, though, was it? Switzerland has basically been fully taken. There's just a little bit left. And, yeah, then we'll... When they capitulate, we'll take them all. There you go. Switzerland is dead. Okay, so I'm trying to reduce the autonomy of the Netherlands and hopefully no one joins as in against them, um, against me. Oh, the British haven't joined yet. Um, the Austrians have, though. Oh, okay. Actually, 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 that could be good. We can get some extra war goals. It's going to cost a lot of infamy, but... Uh, no, I don't want any of that. What if I conquer Bohemia? The war has started. Let's have a look at how it's going. So, in Holland, in Holland, the Netherlands. I Can someone tell me? I know Holland is a place, like an area. Why do we call the Netherlands Holland? Maybe it's just a British thing, but we, we always refer to them as Holland. What, what's that all about? 
that I must be missing something somewhere. But they're called the Netherlands. The war against Austria-Hungary, uh, actually not doing too badly. Oh dear, never mind, just take it all back. But once we get the Netherlands, then we'll focus on Austria-Hungary. So this Netherlands border is going really well. Soon, yeah, yeah, there you go. Just had our first jump into the negatives for them. So we should be able to take them, no problem. And there you go. So even though we are now losing, now these divisions have come over again. Yeah, we're, we're not doing too great. However, I was able to push back in these sort of areas. So, oh dear, okay, we might be going into the negatives, but look, we are able to get Bohemia, which is our war goal. So they're now in the negative war support. Yes, 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 war goal. Oh my God, look at, look at us, look at us. We look so beautiful. Right, how close are we now? Oh, we need five more states. So how much does the Netherlands hold? Three. So if we take Brussels, Brussels, I mean, if we take Belgium and then finish off the Netherlands, then obviously we're going to have to reduce their autonomy and then annex them. But we take Belgium and then the Netherlands and we're done. Just to let you know, we now have the world's largest GDP. So I made the huge mistake, well it's not a huge mistake, but I made the mistake of switching everything over to assembly lines. Um, and assembly lines require oil. I didn't realize this when I switched, I thought it was just electricity. Um, so we currently have a minus 3,000 um, deficit, well, we have a 3,000 deficit of oil. Luckily we do have states with oil production, so I'm frantically building like loads of them to keep up with the supply and demand switch over to i think parliamentary is better gives us extra legitimacy based on votes and gives us extra um yeah i'm not sure which one's better but i, I assume it's parliamentary right parliamentary i think because i went for presidential last time okay i just wanted to show you the amount of migration we've got right now it is perfect we have russians coming to bavaria we have australians going to baden um we've got more latvian russians uh moving here we've got austria hungarian um people going to hanover and we've got northern italian austria hungarians going here and up here we've got french people going there compared to every other country in the world the only actually the only other country in the world with actual my mig international migration is england and that is it whereas we have six we have six international migration which is just crazy okay i was having a look at rubber because obviously we need it i was having a look at the potentials on the map and here in, what's this place called? Gaza. They have potential for rubber. I don't know whether they have rubber production right now. I was looking in the wrong place. Yes, they have potential for rubber. They have 12 rubber. That would be very useful for me. And seeing as they're just a tiny little country. So we're going to we're gonna conquer that state and try to get that. Yeah, this naval invasion isn't going to take too long. And there you go. We now own all of Gaza. And now we are a parliamentary republic. So, who's actually in control then? This guy here, he seems, he seems, he's actually a loved personality. Oh no. Okay, he likes colonial exploitation, which is good. He also endorses professional and mass conscription, so I'm happy with him. Seeing as I want to increase my middling and upper strata population, which, by the way, if you have a look, is happening just down here on this graph you can see the population since we started has i was gonna say doubled but it's it's done way more than that but to reduce the lower strata a little bit more i would like to move to tractors it will it will decrease the number of laborers we have but it will mean those laborers can go work elsewhere and we can get more goods out as my cost of coal is extremely low at the moment, and I'm the number one producer in the world, I'm going to switch over my electricity and power production to coal-fired plants. And I'm only going to do this in a select couple of places where 
we need the electricity, so not in Brandon. Not in Brandenburg. It is definitely time to start, well, it, it was probably time to do this ages ago, but I want to improve my military strength. So I'm going to make probably many armies with 60 battalions within it. I would like to get around 400 battalions, try and double, um, actually no, I could double, get 600 battalions and it would probably cost us quite a bit, but then we're going to have the strongest army in the world. Who can say no to that? Okay, I want to give something a go. I want to reduce the autonomy of the Netherlands. We've got a 24% chance of them just accepting it straight away. So I'd like to see whether they didn't accept. Okay, we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll give this war a go. If not, you're not gonna, you're not gonna see the video. Oh no, look at my infamy, look at my infamy. I might as well just go all in. I might as well. Um, get Tyrol because I'm already trying to get Moravia and this would this once we've obviously annexed the Netherlands so that would be the next war with them I want to have enough states I can't be bothered anymore um, with this waiting around I want to I want to be able to have everything so oh my god infamy of 122 if we don't get cut down to size then it's, it's actually a miracle. So, actually the attack isn't that bad. We are defending the Austrian line uh, in most, yeah, in all places. We are defending the Austrian line and we, I, yeah, I'm hoping that we are attacking pretty well against the Netherlands. Yeah, this isn't too difficult. We are winning m some of these battles, maybe not all of them, but that's okay. Winning this one right here. They've blundered, so 100% going to win our what's it called standard of living is really work good at the moment my gdp i'd like it to be more but there's not a whole lot i can do about that right now seeing as we're at war oh my goodness i didn't even realize i had 62 battalions just casually sitting over in my little french low countries and we've already taken the netherlands so they're already in the negatives we've also got a little little people hating me but Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so it's just us versus Austria-Hungary now, uh, which definitely won't be difficult. I literally have nothing to lose, apart from obviously um, the Netherlands independence and stuff like that. But I, I'm only gaining something now in this war. There is nothing that can go wrong. There you go. The Netherlands have well, they, they've now decreased their autonomy even more. I'm going to switch them to, I was going to say, no, I'm not going to switch them to any of that. Nice total separation, I'll get them. So, Austria-Hungary has just reached zero. They've just reached zero war support, and I'm hoping that they decrease further than that because I can't be bothered to get to the... Well, actually, where is the Austria-Hungary capital? When I say I can't be bothered, is it literally just in uh, Vienna? Yeah, okay, so we're already there. Never mind. And we're, we're already there. So they once we take most of well, the rest of that state... It will start going down anyway. This war was easier than I expected, obviously because I increased my power, but yeah. And there you go, Austria-Hungary did capitulate. Let's just incorporate these two states. Right, okay, Great Britain wants to cut Germany down to size. Decline, I'm not, I'm not getting cut down to size from the UK, little old UK, with a little old, yeah, okay, maybe we're gonna have a lot of problems, but ugh, whatever, we'll be fine. So the war has started between me and basically the rest of the world. I'm a little bit nervous, it, just to, you know, but they want to cut me down. I don't know exactly what we'll lose, but we'll lose every single state and subject that we've gained through conquests in the last 10 years, which will probably, I'm pretty, yeah, that's got to include these, hasn't it? Yeah, the, that, that's these two. Um, maybe we, we might lose the Netherlands. That's really not that much. Whereas I'm trying to ban slavery in the US and get some war reparations. So even though they've pushed into Germany a slight bit, look, multiple of these attacks that they're doing, we are defending and they're taking way more casualties than I am. Yes, our war support is lower than theirs. However, they have taken, the, the British at least, have taken 135 
thousand casualties. Okay, so America has now reached zero war support. Hopefully they can go under, because if they can't go under, then... Actually, no, 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 we should be able to get white peace once the UK gets to zero as well. Hopefully we can get a white peace. Oh dear. Oh, well, this is perfect. Look, Austria-Hungary are having a religious revolt, and I'm pretty sure they've got the backing of um, the US. So the US divisions, the soldiers, have moved out. They've moved away, and we're now able to push. Look, we're pushing. And with this extra war, the US want to capitulate. They, they want to leave. So we're just waiting for the UK to propose peace. We've got minus 10 at this point. Come on. Right, now that's what I needed. I need this Russian support to be minused, and it is. So, if the Russians capitulate, we will 100% win this war because they will want to peace out. They will have no border with me. I am slightly worried about um, the British and the Americans pushing again. So I'm going to place all my other soldiers back onto defensive only. We've now killed 1.3 million soldiers. And those are numbers for 1907. By the way, I don't know why we've got so much, like, um, advantage here. Uh, maybe the Brit have the British gone to war with somebody else? They've decided to remove troops to go to Africa. And the... The US also sending troops for Austria-Hungary. Yeah, no wonder. No wonder we're, we're able to push back here. We, I just saw it tick over. We almost got it. We almost got it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep pushing into Russia. Keep pushing into Russia. We need that to go. I don't care about getting war reparations anymore. I just... Yes, yes. 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 Yes, we peaced out. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, you know, I'm so stupid. I was wondering, why is my economy so bad right now? And I have a general strike. By the way, I noticed this a while ago. Um, so in 10 weeks, um, we're going to get the workplace safety offices to level three so that we don't have the strikes anymore. I think it's time to try and annex the Netherlands. The Netherlands don't seem to have any support from anyone else, so this should be pretty easy. We're going to obviously have Scandinavia on our side, but everyone else seems to not want to go to war with me ever again. Let's just mobilise 72 um, of our battalions, put it along there, and then if we need to go to war with anyone else to just annex our little puppet, then we will. It is just me in the Netherlands, so this shouldn't be too difficult. They have nine battalions. We should be fine. And there you go. We have annexed the Netherlands. It's now time to form the... what? So it turns out that it included originally... Oh my god, I've got to sort this out at the top. It included originally the Netherlands states, so we still need to get a few... Is it two or three? Check. Uh, we still need to get three more states. Obviously, out of all of them, it's either Italy or Austria, because Belgium, there's only two states that we can take, and then we have to do two wars to get, you know, the states that we need. Okay, if I'm honest, I had to go back to a previous save, um, just to save myself years worth of time. Oh, wait, what? We've got a Scandinavian revolt. Well, isn't that just fun? Um, I had to go back just to save myself some time because um, I didn't realise that I didn't hadn't declared the interests and, you know, I had to go back a couple months to get that fixed. I stole the colonies from the Netherlands and they have lots of potential for rubber. So I'm literally building them up to their maximum so that we can get that uh, minus 5,000 rubber that we have to exactly on point the exact amount that we need created and there you go austria is pretty much gone now they they're not too difficult to destroy so we're getting we're going to get this state here and these two states here so that will be near i would say a significant amount of gdp added but it's not even that good there you go we've got the states now and we can finally do nation formation form central europe uh, a glorious nation, or the time has come to bury off but, um, feuds. Uh, 
French becomes a primary culture. No, no, no. Glorious Union. Look at me now. United States of Europe. We're basically the EU. Basically the Holy Roman Empire. Beautiful to see. Beautiful. Of course, with my infamy being the highest, like, yeah, just really high. We are getting cut down to size by the US. The US are trying to cut us down to size with the UK and French backing. Because I, without an ally, I can still take on this trio. So we have a perfect opportunity here. Oh my God, there's so many pop-ups right now. We have a perfect opportunity. The French want to go communist. And even though having a communist board, uh, a communist on the border wouldn't necessarily be the best thing, it is the best thing right now. So, because obviously, you know, France has to fight itself. So I'm bankrolling the communist France. And with bankrolling them, then I have, you know, this huge ally, pretty much. Not an ally, just a... Just someone on the same side as I am. But the French Low Countries, we are actually doing pretty well. We're, our offensives are going well. However, on I'm going to call it the Rhineland, even though it's larger than that. On the Rhineland, we are defending, but we're not going to be able to attack. We're at minus 14% advantage, minus 13%. Yeah, yeah, it's just around that disadvantage, right? So, uh, I'm not going to... I'm not going to try. So... Seeing as I was getting bored of the UK just get destroying my, I think they must have just better quality soldiers. But I, I'm I'm a little tired of them, and they're the one with the lowest war support. I decided to do a little naval invasion in Scotland, and if they don't move their troops over here now, yeah, which I can see might be happening, that they're, they're not going to have any country left to come back to. This is making the war so much easier. France is also pretty low on the war support side. So killing them off won't be too... Oh, wow. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Okay, okay. The British were doing loads. Okay, okay, okay. Switch this over to advance front. And like four seconds later, France also capitulate. So I think it's time to start sending over um, people to... Seeing as this isn't going to go anywhere, I'm going to white peace and then I think we have to call it the end of today's video. If you wanted to see another video like this, then I made a Russia video. I think you should go check that out.